What's up guys, this is Rampage here, and yes, yes, I am back, finally. It's only been four months. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry for the long delay. Um, it's actually been a lot going on with me. Well, not really. <laughs> um, I'm back in school. It took a long time for me to just adjust back into school. I had some pretty tough classes right off the bat. Um, but now it's settled down, so, um, you know, midway through the semester. And I also got a new laptop, so... I've had to back up my old files and import them, and every time I just thought about doing that, I just kind of procur I just kind of put it aside, procrastinated, didn't really want to, but I finally did. Got my files on my new laptop, such as Camtasia. I actually had to upgrade to Camtasia 8. I know you guys don't care about that, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, and I just, I've been playing the game, I just really haven't been in the mood to record or narrate but I, I have been playing still um it's gonna take me a while to <laughs> get caught up again with my road to top 10 in UU um I haven't really been playing too much UU but I will I will continue that <laughs> that will go on I will get top 10 but anyways I'm back and today I'm actually going to be on the ladder playing some Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire OU showdown has implemented um the new megas into you know the system so you can use megas such as mega septile which is featured on this team mega salamence mega Gallade, mega glaily mega steelix um you know all those new megas that were revealed at least i think you could use all of them um anyways let's look into this look at this team i got three of them i made three uh ugh, can't talk tongue twister i made these three teams um, this one features Mega Sceptile. Um, I'm really looking forward to using Mega Sceptile because Sceptile is like my favorite starter from that generation, so <laughs> I don't know. I just really want to use it. Um, this is a Source Dance variant with SD, Leaf Blade, Outrage, and Earthquake. This is a Bandit Talent Flame, Life Orb Kelio, Scarf Landorus, Source Dance, the Falking Scizor, and a. Um, Air Balloon Heatran with Stealth Rocks. So, without further ado, let's look for our first one. And hopefully it doesn't take too long, which it does not. Hello? Okay, here we are. Ooh, Mega Swampert. Without Politoed. Okay. At least I think that's Mega Swampert. You have no other possible Megas. Um, If I can get rid of Ferrothorn, Sceptile's putting in some work. Let's see, um, and if I can set up a Swords Dance. Let's just lead off with Landers as a scout, see what he wants to lead with. He leads off with Thunderous. I can just go for a U-turn. I really don't have much for this, though. Um, I guess I have Heatran. Oh, he just switches out, fearing the Stone Edge, I guess. But just going for the U-turn. Like I said, as a scout, he really does not have much for Keldeo at all. But I kind of just want to Mega Evolve. Hmm. I don't think Earthquake will kill, though. Should I Mega Evolve? What? What does he have for Fire Blast? He has Swampert. Um, let's, if I got Nikeldeo, I could just, let's go Nikeldeo, that's, that's the best play. He does, he doesn't have much for Keldeo at all. I can just click Skull. <clears throat> you can go out in the Ferrothorn, but then I can smack it with a Secret Sword. And potentially get a burn on it as well, so. He really doesn't have much for this. He goes back out in the Thunders, which I guess is a decent play. I do get the burn, which is nice. And now I'm gonna go out into land. No, I'm gonna go into Heatran. I don't care if he breaks my balloon. Because, well, Swampert already beats Heatran 1v1. Excadrill, I have Lander Spore. And Caldeo also beats Excadrill, so I'm really not worried if he breaks my balloon or paralyzes my Heatran. Um, let me start this. Oh, the timer's already started. 
Hurry up. Okay. Um, yeah, he just goes for the Thunder Wave. And I guess I can... I guess I can go for my rocks. As he Focus Blast almost kills me. Watch me get fully paralyzed. Ah, not bad. I will probably end up defogging those away too, so... Unless I can prevent his Sparathorn from getting rocks up, I probably will end up defogging my rocks away. But it's fine. <clears throat> hmm. If only I was still faster. Oh. Let me go for Earth Power just to get some damage off on him. I know he's probably going for Rain Dance. And of course I get fully paralyzed. <laughs> Of course. As he goes for Waterfall. How much attack does this thing get? <laughs> or how much speed? I need to see. <laughs> I need to see some, some data. Data. Mega Swampert. It's base 70 speed and 150 attack. Let me go on the Landorus. By doing this, I can... Am I faster? What's, what's base 70 speed? <laughs> what number is that? I need to know a number. I was looking at Mega Galley. Don't judge me. Swampert. Base 70 is 239. Okay, so my... um. I think Landers is still faster. So what I'm gonna do, oops, what is this? <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? All right, so I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Actually, I'm not faster, but luckily I'm able to take the Ice Punch. I can go out into my Sceptile. I'm not gonna Mega Evolve, and I'm just gonna go for a Leap Blade. Don't freeze me. If I Mega Evolved, I would have died because I would have been four times weak to grass, I mean to ice, opposed to being two times weak. <clears throat> and Talonflame puts in some work too. Oh, the rain is up too. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to sack my Sceptile right here though. I don't really think I need it too much. I'm going to Leap Blade though. Just so he doesn't have a chance to go out in the Ferrothorn. And oh, the rain stopped. The secret sword kill. Hmm, what do I wanna do? Let me go in the talent flame and go for a U-turn. Yes. Balloon? No, that's fine. I can just go out and kill you. Oh, 6% on that U-turn? Is this Scarfed? Oh no, he's lefty. Thought he might have been offensive. Well, I can just go for a Scald right here. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> if I can get rid of... If I could have got rid of that Heatran, Scizor would have came through. Well... Conk is gone. So, if I can prevent his rocks. Let me just Secret Sword. I think Kelio wins me the game if he... He has Thunder Wave. Well, I can still kill this thing. I will outspeed it. Ferrothorn is slow. And... I win with, um... Landers. As long as this thing doesn't set up rocks. Nope. So yeah, one with Landers, because he has no rocks up. And he has no priority. So I can just earthquake. And that's GG. Yep. So good thing I kept Landers. Or not kept, but good thing Landers survived that. Ice Punch, which is surprising. So, I won. Now I'm at 1239. This ladder, or... Yeah, this ladder, this meta, 
is pretty new, so I don't really have many points on it just yet. I just started playing it actually today. Now I'm going to showcase the second team I made, which is based off of Mega Salamence. This, ooh, 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 Mega Salamence is strong. <clears throat> um, <coughs> dang, got to keep clearing my throat. Mega Salamence with Dragon Dance Return, Earthquake, and Outrage. Um, Assault vs. Zumoro. Scarf Magnezone. Defog Latios. Scarf Rotom. Running those two Scarfers. Dual Electric Scarfers. Um, <laughs> and a Life Orb Stealth Rock and Mamoswine. You know, also helps check um, the Genies and Salamence. And, you know, so Mamoswine is just a real good Pokemon. Like, people don't even know. But let's look for one, and hopefully it does not take long to get one. And, ooh, Megalopony. This guy has a really interesting team. Hydreigon, you really don't see that in OU anymore. But look how much work Salamence puts in on this team. This doesn't like taking Earthquakes. This doesn't like taking Icicle Crash. This really can't take Earthquakes. By weakness, it dies to Ice Shard. I also have Salamence, which sets up not on much. <laughs> it doesn't really set up on much, unless I get a Dragon Dance. I mean, unless I um, get an Intimidate off on this. Hmm. What's he gonna lead with? This? Who's my Scarfer? Let's lead off with this. <clears throat> yeah, let's lead off with Azumarill. Predicting Frost Last. Go for a knockoff. And I'll see what he wants to do. To do. The Thunder Waves. Why? Why did that do nothing? Do I have EVs? I'm thick fat. This is garbage. <laughs> Why am I thick fat? Why am I thick fat? This is more What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I suck. Well, as long as he doesn't get up too many hazards. I go for another knockoff. As long as I don't get paralyzed right here. Stop him from getting up. I can't believe I'm thick fat. <laughs> Stop him from getting up another spike. He'll s and I can just default those away with Latios. Against something like this because this is going to be a stealth rocker this is what's this going to do i'm just going to go for the play rough you're going to mega evolve and i'm going to kill you well you're still weak to play rough so if only you weren't thick fat <laughs> if only you were the right ability still does a lot yeah you lived <laughs> i'm gonna tell him <laughs> i have the wrong ability <laughs> um, I should have been able to stop his frost last from getting up a spike, but whatever. And I guess now I'm gonna just go for an aqua jet. Oh yes! Oh, this thing is quick attack. Okay. Okay. I'm f afraid that it gets ice punch. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm not going to default just yet. He does have a ground type, but I don't think he'll go out into it. And even if he does, I can just go out in the Latios and go for the default. Hmm. Or should I just trick? No, I don't want to trick just yet. Let's. Volt switch. Is he going down the High Dragon? I think he's going down the High Dragon. He goes out the Sylveon. Okay, that works. Um, and I can severely weaken this thing with Flash Cannon. Nothing really likes taking it, so. Well, this can take one, definitely, probably two, after lefties. <clears throat> but yeah, he's going out in the Hippo. Oh, that does a lot. That does a hell of a lot. 
Alright, now I'm gonna go to Ose. Ose, Ose. As he just slacks off. Smart player. I'm gonna go for Defog. Okay, well. I'm gonna go for it again. <laughs> I thought he would actually switch out into his T-Tar and not wanting to take a Draco. And now he wore one's Mammoth Swine. Yes. Alright. First. Do I really care about rocks? Actually, I'm gonna get my rocks up. Hell yeah. He just earthquakes. Okay. I don't really care about him getting rocks up. That's the conclusion I came to. Let me get a flinch though. <laughs> Not bad. Hacks in this man's poor soul. And because of that, he won't get his rocks up. And I get mine up. <laughs> How unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Now he goes on the Lopini. He's gonna go for the fake out. Yep. I don't even know if I'm gonna outspeed this thing. Oh wait, no, it, it only hits 405. Okay, out. I outspeed. Just going for the move. Spoke too soon. <laughs> it's fine though. I can just ice shard with this. And like I said, this can't come in. If this comes in, it dies to an earthquake. Or icicle crash. Plus stealth rocks, I think. So Oh, he has quick attack. That's right. I keep forgetting. Fake out, quick attack, return, jump kick. That's not the best of coverage. Hmm. I only have one more Scarfer. My Scarfer does not beat... Um... This. He's just gonna go for a Moonblast. Just gonna go for an Earthquake. I killed it. Alright. Rodan. <laughs> I choose you. <clears throat> I need his high dragon to um Okay, you can do that. Well I guess I'll look for another one as the clock ticks down on that battle. Opponent just randomly disconnected. Well, let me look for one. This team is based around Mega Pidgeot. You know, that no guard, always hitting hurricanes and heat waves. I also have a Life Orb Keldeo on this one. Scarf Landers, Swords Dance, Bisharp, um, Knock Off and Defogging Mew, and a, uh, the same type of heat train I used before. Stealth Rock and Air Balloon heat train. See if this guy's coming back. Doesn't look like it. Give me a battle showdown. Hurry up. <clears throat> Ugh. <clears throat> uh. I hate this season. Flu season. And, like, I always have to clear my throat every year around this time. It's awful. <sighs> this team looks threatening. Keldeo. I expect you to have a field day with this team. <laughs> Get rid of this and I should be good. Um, he has a defogger in this. This thing hits the same speed as my Pidgeot. I think I lost. <laughs> I think I lost a team matchup. Why is he using a, a full on rain team? Need to get damage off on this Politoed. So I'm gonna lead off with Mew. Yeah, I just need damage off on this. Actually, I'm gonna knock off its its thing so it can't get eight turns. Is that offensive? Now I'm gonna go for a Wisp. Get a nice burn on this Swampert. And that, <laughs> okay. Oh, let me get these points. Cool. Why is my why does it look like this? 
Hello? Hello? Still looks like this. Well, as long as I can get a battle. And I guess I'll pause and return until I get one. So BRB. <clears throat> okay, so I am back and it looks like my opponent's using that Mega Metagross. Um, is it recording? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Um, looks like he would probably lead with Rotom. Alright, I'm going to lead off with my Landorus, as he actually just leads off with Metagross. Um, I'm going to U-turn as he Mega Evolves. That, that U-turn did a lot. I'm going to burn this thing immediately. <clears throat> immediately. Hmm. No, I'm not. Now, I'm going to pull it, go out into B sharp, B sharp. And now, I should just double knock off. What am I doing? I'm making bad plays. Um, it's kind of kelp. Hopefully, he doesn't have Will O Wisp. Chomp, the Chompinator. Well, going for the icy one. He should not be able to take me out in one hit. And I can take him out in one hit because he is not scarfed. So <clears throat> I got rid of one of his ground types, which is great. And I'm going out in the meal. <laughs> As your earthquake does nothing. And now I'm going to soft boil. I can live this. Look at Mew eating it up, but. Unfortunately, 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 he got the attack raise. Now did way too much, and then he got another attack raise. So I'm going for a sucker punch, and I actually killed it. I'm actually surprised because I know it got a huge buff to its um attack, or it's not huge buff, but a, actually yeah, a pretty big buff to its defense. Not attack, defense. You know what I meant. Um, I really need to get damage off on this. I'm hoping he goes for Will-O-Wisp on my Mew so I can burn him back. That's what I really need. But no, he just goes for Vault Switch. Doesn't look like it's anything special. Only 17%. I need to salt boiled up. He actually goes out in the Heatran. So he's probably, he probably wants to get his rocks up. I'm just going to go for the soft boil. <clears throat> As he goes for toxic, that's great. Well, I'm going to go for a knockoff. Get rid of this thing's lefties. And now he sets his rocks up. And I'm going to defog right here. I should have just went on the Keldeo. In all honesty, I just took damage for no reason. But now I'm going to go on the Keldeo because he has nothing for it. And I'm going to Secret Sword. Hopefully to a KO Rotom. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay, I get rid of Heatran, which is nice. Now I can go back out into Rotom Wash. I'm going to Landers. I don't think he'll Hydra. Or Wisp. Oh. Alright, he doesn't Hydro or Wisp. Which is nice. And I can just U-turn. 22%. Heatran is not doing anything for me. I can just go out into Heatran. As he Vault Switches again. Um, He's going to go out into his own Landers. Which is perfectly fine by me. Set my rocks up. Ooh. Looks like someone thought I was gonna thought I was going to um, switch, but I didn't. 
And I'm just gonna fire blast until I die. Oh, come on now. Just gonna go for another fire blast. Get this burn, you know. Nope. Okay. And his taunt wears off? Are you serious? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and bit sharp and go for a knockoff, get rid of this thing's Eviolite. Or have Landers come in, give me a nice plus two. Well, technically plus one after Intimidate. Or Rotom can come in. But that's not the case. And I think that's game. <laughs> I think I just won. Well, I still need damage off on this Rotom. I can go ahead and Keldeo now. And go for a Secret Sword. I have no reason to go in for Scald. Because if he did happen to switch out, he would have taken, um... He would have taken whatchamacallit damage. Stealth Rock damage, and then anything would have been able to kill him. Let's... Let's go for a Secret Sword. And then... Oh. Predictions are not on your side today. I can go for another Secret Sword. Pretty much win. Win with... Landorus plus Pidgeot if this happens to be Scarfed. So... I'm gonna go for a Scald. Ooh, that actually killed. But... I have Landorus. You cannot kill my Landorus with a Stone Edge. I'm just gonna go for the knockoff. And I unfortunately get a crit. Don't really think it mattered because all I needed was to get rid of this thing's Choice Scarf. And then I would have just Mega Evolved and killed, killed it with a Hurricane. But, got the crit. So, speeds up the process and I'm able to just knock off for the win. And that's GG, sir. And I think I'm going to end it there. Got three battles. No, it's been a while since I uploaded. Sorry about that. I will try to get on top of things and get into a, a much more regular pace. Just bear with me. And I know it's been a pretty chill, relaxed commentary. The walls are real thin this year for me. So <laughs> I can pretty much hear everything in my neighbor's room. They can hear what's going on in my room. Don't want to be too loud, you know. So I'll probably be doing some more chill, cool, calm, and relaxed commentaries hopefully that doesn't bother you to uh, uh, can't talk hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much and yeah that's it for me hope you all enjoyed and if you did please push that like button also leave a comment you know i do enjoy it i will see you guys definitely in the near future <laughs> and yeah peace out